So both introverts and extroverts had a more pleasant commute when they talked compared to when they were in solitude. You might have seen an article in BBC News called The Surprising Benefit of Talking to Strangers, written by Juliana Schroeder, a professor at Berkeley. So obviously, I wanted to go and meet her. You can find the full discussion on Spotify or iTunes, but for today, here are three insights from our conversation. You know, there's so many times in life when we just kind of like ignore the people around us, because we don't really have like the capacity to always be thinking about what everybody else is thinking about. And uh, it's like especially interesting because like one of the most well-known predictors of our well-being and our happiness is our social connections with other people, yeah. right? So like that's like one of the first things anyone will tell you if like you're feeling unhappy is like, well, try connecting with someone, like talk to a close friend or family member. Um, but yet like there's all these circumstances under which like we just don't engage and we don't think about other people. The mechanism that we think is that's preventing people from engaging is what we call like pluralistic ignorance, which is that everybody thinks that nobody wants to talk, even though they're somewhat interested in talking. So if you ask people like on a one to seven scale, like how interested would you be to have a conversation with someone on the train today? Um, like seven, extremely interested, one not at all interested. People put themselves like around like a four. Like, I'd be, like, somewhat, maybe. You know, they're not really sure, but they put themselves there. And then if you ask, well, how interested do you think other people would be in talking to you? They put they put them at, like, a two or three. Mm. So that everyone thinks everyone else is less interested in talking than they are. Hmm. Okay, and that's kind of what creates this mindset of, like, nobody, nobody engages. Nobody. Sometimes that people almost forget that they have an important role in the conversation as well. You know, they're kind of like, I don't want to go up to you because it doesn't seem like you're interested in talking to me. But it's, well, if you go up and say hi, like in a friendly way, that's going to influence what the other person yeah. does. And you, you have a, you know, you could be the influencer that changes the trajectory of this relationship. Like you could be the one to do that. Yeah.